The Ethereum blockchain uses permissionless consensus. Permissionless here means that any node can join and participate in the network and execute or validate transactions. Now, out of all the public nodes in the network, majority of the nodes, say 51% of, out of 100, must agree on the validity of a transaction to arrive at a consensus. Once consensus is reached, the transaction is committed to Ethereum. Now, in the absence of a central governing authority, how can one ensure that 51% of these nodes are genuine and no one has added or manipulated nodes to drive transaction in their favor? That's where the proof of work algorithm is applied to drive consensus throughout the network. This video explains the proof of work algorithm in simple terms. In a proof of work based Ethereum network, each node needs to solve a mathematical puzzle to propose their transaction or to be more precise, an intent to create and commit the block. To solve this mathematical puzzle, it requires a lot of computation, power, and time in terms of CPU resources. The node solving this puzzle is referred to as miners. The mathematical puzzle is all about finding a message digest based on the input message plus the digest of the previous block. Now, a message digest is a cryptographic hash function containing a set of digits created by a one-way hashing formula. Digits basically ensure that the data is not altered and the integrity of the message is maintained between the sender and the receiver. Now, the mathematical puzzle should be less than the difficulty level of the system. The difficulty level is an arithmetically derived number set by the system. Now, once the puzzle is solved, all other nodes should agree on the solution and apply the same formula to arrive at the consensus. The node that is first to solve the mathematical puzzle and eventually verified and agreed by all the other nodes is rewarded for its work. In the Ethereum network, this would imply a node being rewarded with some ethers for solving the puzzle. Now let's understand uh, this uh, algorithm in more detail by taking a practical example. Let's assume there is a chain of two blocks already committed on the network. A new block, say block 3, needs to be added to the existing chain. Now let's understand the sequence of flow as to how this third block of transaction would be committed. So every node in the network will take up the challenge of creating the third block and committing the same to the blockchain network. For this to achieve, each of the nodes will try to solve a mathematical equation. In the context of Ethereum, it is a digest value that needs to be created and it has to be less than some difficulty level preset by the system. The mathematical equation could be something like calculate digest 3 value which should be less than the difficulty level. So let's assume the difficulty level is preset as some leading zeros with value 781. Now the digest 3 is calculated using a hash algorithm like SHA-256 and by creating the hash of the values which is the previous block, block 2, digest 2 and nuance. The nuance can be any arbitrary value that is incremented every time the node makes an attempt to find the correct digest 3 value. In short, nuance is incremented to find a solution to the equation. Now, each node would start solving this equation by incrementing the nuance value. Let's say block 3 is a new block to be committed, block 2 is the previous block, and D is the difficulty level. If the equation is solved, the result is yes, else it is no. The following shows the set of iterations that needs to be carried out. So in iteration 1, uh, let's say 
the outcome is no. In iteration 2, we will increment the nuance value to 2 and again the outcome is no. And this iteration will go on till a value is reached where the outcome is yes. So in this scenario, at 2 million and 8, the outcome is yes. So as you can see from the above iterations, at nuance value 2 million and 8, the equation is solved, where the digest 3 value is less than the difficulty level. Now the node that solves this equation propagates the, this nuance value of 2 million and 8 to all the other nodes in the network for verification. All the other nodes will simply take this nuance value and verify it is indeed less than the difficulty level. Now the other nodes just need one step to verify this equation with least computing power. Now once verified by the majority of the nodes in the network, the block will be committed, which basically implies it will be chained to the previous block and the miner is rewarded with ethers for the work done. Now as you see in the diagram, the blockchain is basically a chain of hashes, each linked to the previous one. For instance, the digest of 3 contains digest 2, digest of 2 contains digest 1 and so on. Now adding a new block in between, let's say by any intruder implies changing the entire hash sequence till the very beginning which seems virtually impossible.